Hello princesses and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Well, you'll have to allow me to make the pun that everything is coming up roses again for Pat McGrath. Actually, it's been coming up roses for some time, hasn't it? Today we have the brand new Rose Decadence Eye Palette, quite a few of the new lip shades, and some of the new lip liners to take a look at. Um, I did receive this palette yesterday, and I've been playing with it a little bit. This is actually not a first impression. I did about three eye looks just for fun yesterday, and a totally different one today that we're gonna do together on camera so that I can really play with it and figure it out. Um, many of you have already been asking me if you need this, especially if you have Ritualistic Rose or Divine Rose 1, Divine Rose 2, et cetera, et cetera. So we're gonna talk about all of that and do a look and check these things out. But first things first, in case you haven't seen it, let's take a look at Rose Decadence. Um, the cool thing is that Pat McGrath has done away with the toggle. The toggle was really pretty and really cool, but it was toggly and it got in the way. The toggle, if you don't know what I'm talking about, is this little tie thing um, that goes on here. So we don't have the toggle anymore. We just have a flap that opens with a mirror and all of these lovely shades here. And I am going to insert the six shades for you to take a look at them. And in order from left to right, we have Pink Champagne, Peach Dust, Fuchsia Flare, Hedonistic Rose, Scandalous, and Golden Honey. So those are all the shades in the palette. I wanted you to have a very good look at them. They are a darker rose color than some of the others. Um, let's take a look, for instance, if we were to compare it to the first Divine Rose palette. Here's the first Divine Rose palette. They're nothing alike. Certainly not if you're a Pat McGrath collector. And then, of course, we have the little pretty pink version of the second Divine Rose palette. Slightly closer, but brighter. Light, brighter and lighter. I'm having so much trouble here. Okay, let's try this again. Brighter and lighter. This is definitely, I mean, roses come in so many colors, but this is definitely, this brand new rose, rose palette is definitely a deeper, darker one. I also grabbed, I mean, there's so many. I also grabbed a little quad. Do you guys remember the little ritualistic rose quad? Um, and that's this guy right here, also lighter and brighter, but still rosy. I think the main difference with this, and you'll see when we do this eye look that I'm wearing right now, I think the main difference is this is a deeper, uh, rosier, ruddier, ruddier palette. And my concern, which I can tell you already was a non-concern after all, was that it would end up looking a little bit too ruddy and um, sickly. But I think you can see already, as you have kind of a preview here, that that really didn't happen. Let's look at some of these new lipsticks. We have a new bullet shape. So I got the, um, well, I got a story. There's always a story, right? So part of the joy, <clears throat> part of the challenge, Part of the ritual of ordering from Pat McGrath's website is there's always some sort of a problem, some sort of a malfunction. You get something extra sometimes, it's like a grab bag. Um, generally though, they leave something out or, you know, they're so sweet. I have never had trouble dealing with them. So this isn't an attack or anything like that. But yeah, there's always some sort of an issue. And the one thing I'm missing, I'll show you when I get it, is I am missing dark romance. You know, the really cool like balm that's so dark, almost black looking, but not on the lips. I so wanted to play with that today. Um, instead, they gave me two um, nude Venuses. So we'll save one and I'll give it away a little later. I won't touch it. But let's take a look. So as I told you, these new lipsticks are very cool. We have a new bullet. So this is Temptress. This is one of the nude colors. And as you see here, let me zoom in. We have a new flatter 
bullet. The other thing that's very cool about these new lipsticks is they're emollient and creamy and glossy. I am wearing one right now. I'm actually wearing Nude Venus, which we'll look at in the swatch as well. And here you go with Temptress. So easy to swatch, almost a flat. It's at an angle. So it's still going to um, work on the lips in that kind of, I wanted to say ergomatic, but lip gomatic shape. And there it is, Temptress. Let's look at Bel Amour, which is uh, second up here. Also have our very cool shape. Here's a close up. And here is Bel Amour on my arm. Temptress, which is kind of a reddish color, and then Belle Amour. And last but not least is the color that you already are getting a little bit of a preview of on my lips, and that is Nude Venus. They sent me two and had me just keep one, so I'll give it away. I won't open it. Here is Nude Venus, which is my favorite of the three, because I really love a nude lip. And that's what I'm wearing now. So I'll show you on my lip. We also have two liners to look at. Now, there's a ton of new liners. I wanna say like 20 or something, it's crazy. But I just I just picked up two that I thought were kind of fun. There's Cosmic Vibes, which is kind of a lilac-y color. That's this one right here, and I'll just put you a little bit of a of the swatch there for you. It's kind of a reddy, purpley color, which I thought would be really fun also to just kind of change up the look of some of my balms and things. And then we have Starstruck, which I am wearing today, uh, which you'll see in a moment I'm wearing today under the nude Venus. And here's Starstruck, that's just a real pretty pink. And to me, you can never have enough pretty pink lip liners. You can never have enough lip liners anyway, can you, princesses? I'm really pleased with the texture of this lipstick, and I was slightly worried about this new palette, but I'll give you a heads up. I think it's kind of a fun one, especially if you enjoy these deeper looks, but you do have to be prepared, princesses, for a very deep, rosy look with this palette. So we're gonna come back, we're gonna do this look together, and then we're gonna talk a little bit more about it, so please stick around. Okay, let's get started with my now kind of signature easy look. Haven't planned too much, but I don't wanna go too dark. Um, this would be a really beautiful palette for evening, um, but I'm thinking, let me turn my mirror around, um, I'm thinking we should go kind of gentle. So let's start with this big fluffy refer number 15. Oh, look, I still have the plastic on the mirror there. And let's go into the first shade, which I believe is pink champagne, and I'm going to kind of put it all over. Um, on purpose. I kind of like that it's light and kind of incandescent and gentle. And I'm, I'm gonna kind of just use it to set. I just think it's just kind of very pretty, gentle wash of color. Um, that even though I kind of have slightly uneven hooded eyes, it's just kind of pretty. And let's just, let's kind of go down the row for right now, same brush, and I'm gonna go in with Peach Dusk. Sorry if I, you couldn't see that which is the second color, and just kind of get that into the crease. And I'm just kind of working with that there, remembering to kind of blow off the brush. Because again, if I'm going for this kind of gentle look, I want it to be a gentle look, right? Okay, so then we have just basically the first two shades on my eyes. I'm gonna switch up the brush just a little bit, and I'm gonna kind of go underneath with our second shade, which was Peach Dusk, all the way underneath. This is actually um, a really pretty palette. I was wondering if it would be kind of dark, but to be honest, I'm finding it so far um, kind of a refreshing darkening of all of the rose palettes. So as I said, switching up the brush to a number two here, I'm gonna go in to our fourth shade, Hedonistic Rose, and just kind of darken up the corner a little bit 
if you can kind of see what I'm doing here. And I'm really kind of liking the look that we're coming up with now. Um, it is definitely a little bit more evening um, than some of the other looks I've come up with with the other all the other rose palettes. Um, just kind of gently darkening that there, and I'm going to go underneath using this same brush. Uh, just going about a third of the way, just kind of darkening that up. Let's get. I'm not, you know what, let's go back up to this fuchsia flare color and just kind of put that right there in the middle. Um, just kind of an easy, you know, it's going to work that way look. Again, don't know if I would necessarily have done that. I might have left it for a day look, but I just want to play with it, princesses, so that you can kind of see what it looks like. I might even go under the eye, uh, just in the center with that fuchsia flare as well. So here's what we have so far. I'm going to put on, I don't know why I made that face. <laughs> I'm going to put on a little bit of eyeliner and some mascara and then we'll come back and take a look at what lipstick we should prepare to wear with this. Stay ready. Okay, we're back with the finished eye look. One or two little things happened off camera because I got carried away. So I wanted to share it with you actually easy stuff that you didn't need to see me do. Um, but what I did was I took this, mm, the fourth shade over, so that would be Hedonistic Rose, and I put a little bit onto the apples of my cheeks. What I was trying to do is draw the look together. I didn't want this to start getting so rosy on the eyes that it ended up looking sickly. So I kind of wanted to bring it together, and I hope it did that. And the other thing that I did was I did finally take this golden honey shade here and I just put, if you can see princesses, just a little bit into the inner corners. I didn't put it under the eyebrow. Um, and that might have been just a bit too gold. So I didn't do that. Um, but I just wanted you to know that I did give that a try just while the mood struck me and I, I like it. I kind of think it draws it together a little bit. So let's put on, we saw the lipstick swatches a few moments ago. Let's do, let's do Starstruck, the kind of pink color. And let's do, um, Let's do the kind of a, the nude Venus. Let's do that and let's see what we think, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and slightly sloppily over slightly concealer ellipse. There is on my lips, there it is. And let's try nude Venus over this color. Already I feel like my face is coming to life a little bit more getting that concealery lip look off. And here is the seductively mm, shiny, balmy, beautiful nude Venus. Let me do a close up so you can see. Mm -mm. Oh, it looks like I gotta fix it up a little bit. But there we go. I have to tell you, I am enjoying this palette. I really thought, ugh, more rose, but this is definitely a deeper, redder rose. We know how many colors roses come in. Um, the gold, I do admit, it's a lot of gold, but you know, when you're reaching for one palette and you want to do just one look, not all, not everybody wants to line up 20 palettes um, to reach for different golds. So if you're traveling or if you just want to get out one palette, this is definitely a one palette easy easy look and these lipsticks are shiny and beautiful i can't wait until my last little straggler from the wrong order uh, gets here i'll make sure that i'll show it to you guys when it comes thank you so much for watching please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave your comments below because i really do want to have a conversation a dialogue and see what you guys think and if you haven't subscribed I hope you decide to because I would love to have you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.